Hey listener, First Encounter is an explicit podcast by grown-ups for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Didn't we, we literally had this conversation on the car ride over that I don't know real currency except for dollars and Bitcoin. And, Gil. and Bitcoin is very debatable on if that's real currency or not. Welcome to currency. Is it real? Today, we're going to get to the bottom of this question. No, it is not real. And that's today's episode. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. (laughs) Chris, do you know who I bet would be super interested in learning all about the different currencies of the world? Uh, Me? Our patrons. Oh, fuck. I got to give a little pissy shouty to all of our patrons. We're not keeping that. <laughs> we might. <laughs> uh, yeah, why don't you? Uh, why don't you lead us off? Shout out to all of our X Potion tier members, including Josh, Joe, Joan, Cody, Cody Ben, Alex, Alex and Claudia, and Josh. Mm. <laughs> you don't know. Fuck it. You get to deal with this. <laughs> and thank you so much to our uh, producers, August Denise and Doctor J. Ah, I love it. I love how you read from the top of the list down, whereas yeah, I read from I the bottom would, of the list uh, up. Yeah, I know. You always yeah. do start with the bottom. I, I, absolutely. You know who else we, uh, we have to thank, Kenny? Who? I'm asking you. No, I don't. Who? F- <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, wait. I have. I think I found it right here. Hold on. Hold on. I, I what, found something. I, I, it, uh, this crinkly piece of ripped up paper. Don't. Henny, <sighs> you just ruined the illusion. Uh, We need to do, thank... Do we have a letter? We Is need that a to, note? We need to thank... Is that from our sponsors? Our sponsor. And our sponsor today for this episode is Pursuant to Rules 93, you are summoned to... Oh, that's our uh, lawsuit. What? Never oh, mind. Fuck. Uh, uh, I thought I asked you to burn that. Yeah, no. Uh, I talked to our lawyer and turns out just burning them doesn't make them go away. We actually still have to go to court. Uh, see, I disagree. <laughs> Same. I fired that lawyer. Uh, thank God. Excellent. Uh, speaking of being fired... Uh, if you, dear listener, go to uncommonvt.com, go on and click their little shop link. Legally, you have to if you're listening to this episode. Y- yes, it is the law. It was in the podcast agreement. <laughs> that everyone signs when they open their podcatcher to listen to it's an episode. It's shocking anyone listens to this when yeah. legally you are required to A, give us money, and B, give Uncommon Coffee money. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so, uh, hope the check's in the mail, Otherwise, we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Henny, that was our lawyer on the phone. We just talked about this. And as always, a massive shout out to our sponsor, Uncommon VT. Uncommon Coffee has wonderful coffee for your needs. You can buy a bag online, use our discount code GoodGood at checkout to receive 10% off your order. Some exclusions do apply. However, they have some of the most delicious coffee you could ever hope to buy in your entire life and imbibe. Uh, Chris doesn't drink it anymore. He just buys it and collects it and puts it on a shelf. It's a little weird. But I kind of—I mean, I rub it on my body. Uncommonvt.com for all your coffee needs. Hey, hey, pumpkin. What uh, what brings you to my my little area here? Well, would you, you like know- to look at my area? Would you like to display your map? I'm the map. I would like to buy Tingles' map for your area. Please, please show me your Tingle. <laughs> Kulu Limpa. Ooh. Uh, hey, 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 you. That was real squeaky. That's fine. So I played some uh, Majora's Mask today. Uh, played is a strong word, but yeah, you definitely mm. had a controller in your hand while the video game was on for two and a half hours. I played some Majora's Mask. I had a good time. You had a good time. We got some stuff done today, too. Yeah. I, I feel like this is the first day I've come in with a strong objective, a clear vision of what I would do today, and I you told executed me. on it pretty solidly. You told me exactly what you were going to do today. You came in, and that's all you did today. So, yeah, Just I mean... kept coming. It, yeah, it was no... There was no... <laughs> There was what? definitely no difference between your plan and what occurred. So yeah, it was I, great. I really don't know what what else to say about it other than you you came in. And you're like, I think I'm just gonna fuck around and clock down today. And I was like, Yeah, all right, let's go. <laughs> Granny's diary. Ooh, I didn't see this last time. It was my granddaughter who cooked again today. Putting that to the lips shortens the life. Savage. Jesus. <laughs> 
I thought of a way to get by without eating. I'll what? try it tomorrow. Just hope I'm not caught. Hello? Wow. Is that the whole diary? Yeah. She just hates Anju's cooking. Fuck. That's fine. Anju, you're cooking. <laughs> just run into the shitter. Anju, you're cooking. <laughs> Anju, your cooking sucks is what I was going to say. But I don't know where you are. Oh, oh Anju. She she's bringing, she's carrying some food. Anju, you're, that's bad food. Don't serve that. Anju. <laughs> well, you're a monster. I'm just saying what everyone else is saying. Talk to she me. She doesn't want to talk to you. There's no need. Maybe she if says she did a little more kneading. Her bread would be better. Hmm. How do I how do I dance? Uh, I think you hold. Uh, it looks like it's grayed out. See how it's the green dance button? Hmm. I don't think you can dance inside. Your moves can't be. You contained. can't dance inside. No, you know that. Come on, you've seen Dirty Dancing. Uh, is that the point of that movie? But loose. I yeah, never probably. remember. I think so. I, think I never that's... remember which one it is. But I've never actually seen either of those movies. But one of them you can't dance, and I don't know which one. Yeah! Yeah! He's doing exercises in bed. Talk to me, posty. In my mind, I'm running exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Press A to start, count 10 seconds, and the precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot, press A again. Get that zen. Your time was 9.33. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. Oh, I hate this. My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy? Blech. Alas, though I am already age 35, <laughs> no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. In exchange, I will show you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingles' maps? Tingles'. Uh, I think you have, have both, both of those. These, yeah. No, I'm all good. I see. Well, call again. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu Limpa! <laughs> Do you want to get a Kulu Limpa tattoo with me? It was a great time. Yeah, I had, That's I had what fun. I did. I love fucking around on Clock Town. It's my favorite part of this game. Yeah. Uh, I can firmly say it is mine as well. Yeah. Especially after today. Yeah. You definitely got to peel back some layers today and actually uh, get some some genuine good good. Yeah. Uh, more than I expected from just messing around with like side quests. You got more than I expected too, to be honest. Uh, I think I mentioned that earlier. But yeah, you uh, you actually got a bigger chunk of good good than I was expecting you to get today. So Let's yeah. dive in and discuss a little bit. Yeah. So I got a couple of objectives. Um, I wanted to make sure to talk to everyone. I've yeah. done this before, but I feel like I have a pretty good feel for the game at this point. Yeah. So I wanted to fill out my journal. Yeah. There were shops that I couldn't enter in or I couldn't afford to buy in previous sessions. Yep, so yep. I ran up to the bank, just took out a hundred rupees. <laughs> spent so much Listen, money today. We'll, we'll get there. Calm down. <laughs> So just much money. filled my pockets with some rupees so I could go to the different shops, get all that nonsense. <laughs> and it wasn't really my intention, but by the end of this play session, I played through day one, day two, and day three, all in Clock Town to get the real spread of what I could see. You also played every mini game, I believe. I didn't do the lottery. Is that a mini game? <laughs> I don't count that one because <laughs> okay. that's just straight actual gambling. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> but let's let's back it up a little bit. Let's start at the start, like they like they say. So last time you crushed Woodfall Temple, got that sweet, sweet remains, and uh, skedaddled on back to Clocktown. So I think we actually started the game in Clocktown this time. Yeah. Uh, midway through day two. So the first order of bin business mm -hmm. was you reset the game. Yeah. Went back to day one. Fresh start. Love it. Feeling real good. From there, you had a pretty clear objective of where you wanted to start the day out. Save and return to so the Chris, dawn of the first day. A little birdie told me, though, that you were talking some shit in the Discord. Was I? Yeah, about how you were going to, since you're a pro gamer boy now, beat this game today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would go so far as to say it's more impressive if I don't beat it today because of how quickly and ably I could beat it today. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That makes me rock hard. Okay, so here we are, dawn of the first day. 
Yeah, a little morning. Did you take a massive rupee dump before you uh, started? I had zero rupees. Oh, nice. So I assume I put them in at some point. So what are you trying to do here? Right now, I'm just checking my uh, bomber journal to see who needs help on the first day. So I can just keep them in mind oh, as I'm got sprinting around. Anju, we've got Gorman. Gorman. We've got Postman. Anju's, Anju's grandmother. grandmother I could chat with. You're all set on these guys? Yeah, so I think that's my uh, day right. one. Um, but I want to... Can I interest you in a nudge or no? Mm, you can interest me. I don't know if I'll take it, but you can mm. You can nudge. There's still a couple of buildings you haven't gone into here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I want That's to... the only nudge I'm going to give. I want to find the mayor's building because I didn't. Uh, I haven't visited that yet still. All right, I think you're right here. Talk to me about the mayor. What made you want to go there? Well, the mayor's residence... I think I was so gung-ho going into this episode because I've been editing the past episodes and there's a lot of things that I've been forgetting mm -hmm. <laughs> that I'm being reminded of by myself. Yeah. And one of those things That's was- That's why I listened to the season one so much because- I would just listen to the episodes in between recordings and be like, oh, right, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. 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 So something I missed in previous episodes, I think in the first episode, I was like, I got to check out the mayor's office. Never did. Uh, obvi. Yeah. So the mayor's office, one place I haven't been to, um, excuse me, the mayor's residence, because it is also his home. Yeah. Front desk is commandeered by someone who looks familiar. Yeah. Creepy lady. I don't remember what shop she's part of. She looks a little bit like the woman from the treasure shop. Treasure shop. Yeah. She moves the same. Yeah. They both move their heads very uh, concerningly, have kind of a wide-eyed stare. They're a little flirty, both of them. Are they? Yeah. I didn't really pick up on that. I think I was too put off by the movement. Welcome. Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. Sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. Hmm. The room on your right is the drawing room. And it's also Madame Aroma's office. Madame, Madame Aroma is a name that I heard somewhere else. Do you have anything else to say to me? My directions. Do you want to hear them again? Uh, I'm so, all set, actually. The room on your left is the mayor's office. Set, I'm all set. The Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Thank you. So I go into the not mayor's door. Yeah. And there's a big... Zora? Yes, there's a big Zora there named Toto. That's what they're called, right? Yes. And if you aren't familiar with Zelda, it's basically a mer person. Um, they got some fins. They live in Zora's domain, which and is have underwater. Your fins, have your fins been damp lately? What's going on in here? Oh my god, are you Madame Aroma? Fuck is that? Are the fins damp lately? Wait, I need a fish noise. I don't know what that means. Hold on. <laughs> We are the fins damp lately. What does that mean? That's a greeting used among us Zoras. Mm. Oh, forgive me. I'm Tolo, the manager of the band, the Indiegogos. Oh. The Indiegogos is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They put out a lot of thongs. Why is he slapping himself with his cane? He's a fish. <laughs> okay. One of their hits is the Ballad of the Wind Fish. You know that song, don't you? I'm not cultured. Huh? You don't? Really? Even one that famous? Hmm. You'd be able to hear it if the show wasn't canceled. It's such a shame. Toto, the band manager, was added to your notebook. I don't know why I did that in Toto's <laughs> voice, but I loved it. Hell yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I haven't run into other Zoras. No, not yet. He's the first Zora you found. Yeah, and I've only seen the poster for the Indiegogos. I haven't encountered yep. the members. Not yet. So that's interesting. Canceling the show isn't something I want to do at all. It was the first performance at the carnival for the Indiegogos in a while, so I'm sorry for the fans. Hmm. Are the fans damp lately? But with the diva the way she is right now, a show would be... Eh. Lately, only bad things have been happening at Zora's Hall. He's, as you said, talking to Madame Aroma. Yeah. Which is the wife of the mayor. Yep. Mayor Dator. And also is missing a child. And pretty much as soon as I talk to her, she's like, oh, are you the person I hired to find my child? And Chris is a liar and said yes. Madam? Oh, dear. Are you on a field trip? Are you the expert person finder I hired? I find people. Yes, yes, yes. I say you have the face of a pro. Ah, you have good eyes. The characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. All right. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't? 
Really? Mm. He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat, and I've lost five pounds. Okay. You haven't anything, though. Mm, oh, dear. Well, could you could you look for him? I guess. Oh, oh my, of course. You are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. Wow! Yeah. You've been given Cafe's mask and recruited to locate a missing person. So, I've been given a mask that yeah. is a pale-faced soulless looking individual with blue and purple hair. Well, if you wear it, you'll get to inquire about the missing cafe. Can't I just ask without it? Madame Aroma, the mayor's wife, was added to your notebook. Oh. She's also the mayor's wife. Apparently. You took the work of a pro. This was added to your notebook. Did I just steal somebody's job? Yeah, she definitely had sent for a person finder, hadn't she? Yeah. This kid is missing. I gotta track him down by talking to a bunch of people while wearing his face. For those of you out there listening right now who know, if you know, you know, you're having a great time, aren't you? Because hmm. I am. I am, too. Hmm. This is the quest for the game. Like, not one that you have to finish even. Like, it's it's completely optional. But it is the quest. Like, it is the quest to end all side quests for this game. All right. Is this the mayor's room? Yeah. And office? Yeah, except why are there three beds? There was another door on the other side of the office table that the front girl was talking about. She was not talking about this room. You just broke into their private domicile. They hired me to find their missing son. Oh my, you you're the one I asked to search for cafes. How'd so did you, you know? find anything? What's this? You've got nothing. Tisk tisk. Oh, please keep trying. Are you gonna pay me? Are you the flint stamp lately? What the fuck? Canceling no! the show is something about I want to do a lot. Cafe. Have you seen Cafe? So I leave the room. Uh, there's not too much else in there. There's kind of a back room with some beds. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I go into the mayor's office. Yeah. There's a scary music as soon as you open the door. There's scary music. The room is filled with people who are just yelling at each other. Yeah. So we've got two soldiers. Yep. On the right side of the desk. Town we have guards. The, the mayor sitting at the desk. And then we have two contractors to the left of the desk. So the head of the town guard, Viskin, and the head of the contractors, Muto, are having a fucking huge argument about the carnival. Yeah. And the mayor's being real wishy-washy about it. The uh, town guard is saying, like, hey, we got to split. The fucking moon's coming down. We don't need to do this carnival. We got to get out of here. And the contractor's like, hey, no, this is something we do every year. We got to have this the carnival. It's got to happen. Yep. You know, you can leave if you want to, but we're going to stay here and do this. Yep. And the mayor's like, oh, really? Well, yeah, we'll see. Sucks, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. What's happening in here? Oh, interesting. I'm going to need some help with voices. Most of the town smoke already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. You cowards, do you believe that the moon will actually fall? The confused towners folk simply cause her panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Hmm. Oh, um, well... Are you serious, Muto? It seems that the giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. Oh, they do know about the moon. Yeah. They have noticed. Yeah. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists. So why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Hmm, well, uh... If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Viskin. We councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning in this town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dodor? Let's not bring my wife into this. <laughs> Mary Dutor was added to your notebook. This fight is interesting because I think it answered a lot of questions that you had about why no one was freaking out in town. Mm -hmm. Because they mentioned a couple of things specifically. The only people left in town, they say, are people who are part of the carnival committee. So that's like, you know, the mayor, Madame Aroma, the performers who are part of the carnival, and then the um, shopkeepers. So... It's been a while, but you had commented, like, why is yeah. no one freaking out that the moon is falling? It turns out they are. They've just left. Which makes a lot of sense. Which makes a ton of sense. And it's also something that's, I don't know that I picked up on as a kid, 
was like, why aren't these people leaving? And then now that I'm an adult and have lived through and am still currently living through a large scale crisis, I kind of understand what is happening here. Why do you think Muto is so stuck on tradition? I mean, that's just the way a lot of people are. Just like, I can't, like, we've like, always... This, this is what I know. It's always been like this. We cannot change this. It's, I think when you're so integrated in the community, like, it's almost part of your identity. Like, this is who I am to this. Yeah. Um, like, it's very clear that Muto has a lot of power in the town because he's so close to the mayor. Yeah. Um, but I also can't talk to anyone in here. Um, when I try to talk to the mayor, like everyone else kind of shouts me down. So uh, we bounce, but we do have an objective and a new mask. Got to find this kid who's missing. Uh, what is his name? Cafe. Cafe. K-A-F-E-I. Yeah. Cafe. I'm also kind of hitting some shops that yeah. I haven't spent a lot of time in. So the first one is the Swordsman School, um, which is pretty cool. Like I did the basic course um, in a previous episode. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll knock off the advanced course. No problem. I can check that off my list and keep going. So I've got my pocket full of rupees. I'm ready to go. Roll into the class. I'm like, hey, let's go. Let's teach me some skills. I have this on my note as fucking training, by the way. Fucking underlined. training? <laughs> fucking training. Underlined. I mean, that's basically what I did. I rolled in and I was like, hey, teach me your fucking skills. You and... had 120 rupees when you started this, by the way. All right. No problem. <laughs> so the course yeah, ended with 13. So some problems. L- listen, All right. listen. The course itself is 20 rupees. What's this? Need something? Deposit uh, with Draw me some rupees, baby. Excuse me. Let me take a look at you. Ah, yes, Link. If I remember, you're the little guy who deposited 434 rupees. I wish you would stop calling me little. So how much do you want? 100. You know, at this time of day, there's a four rupee service charge on withdrawals. What? Really realistic, huh? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, you're taking out all that? If you spend it like that, it'll all be gone before you know it. You don't... Can you... This is my money. Right. Now I've got a total of 330 rupees from you. Chris, have you never taken money out of an ATM? I feel like I need to find a alternate bank. Hmm. The expert course is a practice session. Cut down the 10 logs using the highly difficult techniques. If you score a perfect 30 points, you shall be taught all the secrets. All right. Now we're cooking with ass. Oh, God. Oh, oh I can't fuck. believe you fucking suck so bad. I don't remember any of the uh, techniques you taught me. I cannot believe you are the worst swordsman that ever lived. Give me another shot. Give me the expert course. Give me those logs. Let me nibble on those logs. Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking yeah. Can you, can you please just do better? Ugh. What? No! Fuck! Mm. Ass! Ugh. Can't believe you're not gonna learn the secrets. These logs are making fools out of me. They really are. Training is insufficient. You must jump more. Give me the logs. Can't believe you're gonna wait. You were gonna, uh. Dude, I'm flush with rupees. Hmm. I, I don't need any more. Fuck. Clearly. Otherwise, you would care about actually doing well at the game. Okay, you know what? <laughs> What this consists of is he's like, hey, cut down all these logs that pop up. Uh, each log you cut down, you'll get X number of points, depending on how it's cut, like what technique you use. Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro. Well, let's fucking do it. No problem. Logs start popping up. Start chopping them down. Just start blasting. And so it continues. And then he kept blasting. And he kept blasting. And then 120 rupees. He got angry and started spamming through it and started taking the basic course, which is one rupee. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Come on, baby. Almost. No. Start over from the beginning. My training isn't insufficient. Your teaching is insufficient. Is it? Again. Oh, shit. No. No. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, I picked the novice course accidentally. Can I? Oh, god. Penny, what have I done? Next is the roll attack. Wrong. So Chris is now learning the mistakes of what happens when you button mash in an action adventure game where there's options in dialogue. Because Chris was so focused on button mashing, he signed up for the basic course, I think at least three times throughout this. Yeah, that sounds right. So one moment, I'm looking at Chris's screen. 
and he's just flush with 120 rupees. The next minute, I've just kind of blacked out for his second in a rage. And when I come to, Chris has 69 nice rupees. And I'm like, what the fuck happened here? I like that it's 24 hour. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the only building that's 24 hour? It might be. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. No, you fuck. Fit. Your training is insufficient. The banker's going to be so pissed with me. Yeah, he is. Dude, this is so irresponsible. You're at 48 rupees. Again. <laughs> Chris drains his entire reserves of money to the point he has to go back to the bank <laughs> before he can continue on anything else. Basically, though, you drained your bank and got, I think, the best score you got was 28. So you still never reached 30. And then you decided to go fill your money up and go shopping again. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah. as long as you had fun. That's what matters. So I spent at least 150 rupees on this. Didn't succeed. Left. That's fine. I'll be back. And I hit into the bomb shop because now I can actually buy stuff. Yeah. We got a Goron. He's going to sell me a mega bomb. I can't carry it. No. Uh, I talked to the bomb shop keeper yeah they've got bombs but you don't have a bomb bag yep they've got bomb chews but you don't have a bomb bag nope but they have a bomb bag so i buy a bomb bag hell yeah bomb shop uh i don't have enough rupees. you don't have enough rupees because you spent it all on the fucking oh god oh my god this is terrible have you seen this kid or whatever uh he hasn't been here have you asked about him at the other stores all right well time to take more money out you doing okay Hannah? Yeah, great. Welcome. I would like your bomb bag. Dang oh, wow. Dang. Now you can carry bombs. Thank you. 20 bombs? You shouldn't be selling this to a kid. Come again. This doesn't seem right. It's 50 great. rupees later, you got a bomb bag. Now you can carry up to uh, 20 bombs, I believe. Yeah, Maybe 10. And, and it comes with 20 bombs. Yeah. Which is quite a good deal. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah. And headed into another shop. You went into this shop, I think, in the very first game episode we had, and you talked to them for a second, and you were like, nope, 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 and bailed. Yeah. So, Honey and Set Darling's the scene. shop. So, you walk in, and there's kind of a raised podium in the center. What a great word, podium. Yeah, it's pretty good. And we have Honey, and we have Darling. And they're just sucking face. <laughs> just absolutely fucking laying into each other. Just dampening their fins oh and uh this is honey and darling they own a kind of side shop? game shop kind of deal like if, if it's you're basketball at, really is what they own yeah it's basically if you wandered into a carnival and there's kind of a this game where you you know as you see in carnivals throw bombs at baskets, baskets. yeah or if you're not a psycho you throw a ping pong in a goldfish bowl. no that's fucking stupid it looks mm. like we have a visitor, honey. I uh, wonder if it's a customer, darling. <laughs> oh, would you like to play? Today is basket bomb day, isn't it, darling? One game is ten rupees. I'll play your game. <laughs> Get a bomb inside every basket, and the time it takes us to dance through one song. Okay. If you throw with too much power, you'll fall off this platform, so be careful. Are you ready? Start the music. This is going to be a nightmare. You're on a platform. Platform's rotating. While they're dancing. While Honey and Darling are dancing and sucking face. You have until the end of their dance to throw a bomb. Into every basket. There's a lot of baskets. Yeah. It was okay. I blew myself up a couple times. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's basketball. Ugh. Sup, nerd? Shit. Oh, and you lose. Okay. 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 This is going to be hard. Yeah. I'm not going to have a good time with this. Yeah. We've already won, honey. I'm happy, darling. Fine. Uh, again! Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, nice! Hey, you're doing pretty good, dude. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow myself up here. It's already over, honey. For a while, it was like a dream, honey. I'm gonna give it one more shot and then leave. Just because it's kind of fun. How do you keep ending up at 69 rupees? Ah. Oh. All done. Almost. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. All right, well, I'll be back here. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait until we have to open a second Patreon to deal with your fucking gambling addiction. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. That's Honey and Darling's shop. 
Then the next shop you hit was the treasure shop, which I think you really enjoyed. Treasure shop was good. This is the shop that is run by somebody who looks like they would have a relation to the lady who runs the front desk in the mayor shop. Yeah. So they got kind of the same creepy movements. They got the same eyes, kind of talk to you the same way. That's cool. And she's like, hey, you want to play the game? All you have to do is open the treasure chest. No big deal. No big deal. You get like, what was it? 45 seconds and the treasure chest is just like across a chessboard? Who cares? So I'm like, yeah, tight. Got all the money in the world. And I start running across the room. And as I run, walls start springing up in front of me. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? What's that? That one part with the flame walls uh, in the Deku Butler's uh, little run. Yeah. They're not on fire, though. They're not on fire this time. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but it's basically kind of an invisible maze that springs up as you progress forward. So I didn't realize this the first time, but this shop is shaped like a treasure box. Yeah, it's the treasure chest shop. What do you think? It's got a lot of floors going on. It's got some striped green and green floors, some yeah. checkered black and white floors, and also some whatever that floor Stained is. Stained glass? <laughs> Stained glass floor. I'm not sure. <laughs> and the proprietor is very creepy. Oh, is the kid collecting masks? How about it? Wanna play? Give me the deets. For you, it's 20 rupees. If you can make it all the way to the treasure chest and open it within the time limit, I'll give you a special prize. Finding out what's inside is half the fun. Hmm. Is it? Yeah. Are you ready? What do you have to do? I have to get to the treasure chest and open it. That seems fine. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Do it. Get there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get, get over it. Go! Why will you not go? Oh, uh, it's a maze. I see. Okay. No problem. Shit, I'm not remembering any of this. Oh! 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 oh. Easy! GG. No problem. Oh, purple rupee. All right. All right. Well, I made my money back here at least. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Did you have fun? It was okay. Um, want to try again? Mm, For good, you? 20 actually. rupees. I'm back to 69 rupees, baby! Third time. Third time's the charm. And then you hit your last minigame shop after that. This was my favorite. Shooting gallery? Yeah. This is funny because this is the one you didn't seem, you seemed the least excited for. Oh, I really enjoyed this Because you were going into it and you're like, oh God, I'm garbage with the bow. I hate this. Yeah. And uh, no, you did pretty fucking good. Yeah, I had a really good time with this. Um, The shooting gallery is just you firing at targets that spring up out of the water for you. And certain targets will give you points and certain targets will give you points, but they also reduce your time. Oh, a little shooting gallery? Shooting gallery. This is the first time I've been in here. You might have checked it out, but you didn't do anything. Oh, yeah. No, this is Lips guy. Ha <laughs> ha. If you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sonny? Hit as many red ones as you can within the time limit. What do you think a red one is? If you hit a blue one, you lose time, so watch out. I'm really bad at aiming arrows. Our highest score is 39. If Chris gets this to 69, we will put out a video of us back of a laid out in on screen <laughs> well i don't think we have to worry about that so oh that's a blue one come on baby let my fire come on baby light. oh three nice. in one go nice 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 nice, nice, nice. what i get you hit 26 did you oh that's too bad i bet i could beat this so you can't stop can you you can play as often as you like as long as you got oh, the money oh yeah baby caladria asked if you uh beat the game yet did you save the world and i said he's developed a gambling addiction <laughs> No problem. No problem. Ho, 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 yeah, ho, baby. Oh, yeah. Eat my ass. 42, 42. Well, new look record. at that. You hit 42. That's our new record. Man, what a rush. Ooh, you got a large quiver. Now you can carry 40 arrows. All right, I guess. Yeah. Well, that was, that was fun. That was okay. Yeah, that was cool. I think I took three shots I think you at this. Third, third time's the charm on this one. And you got a big quiver. Yeah, so now I can carry 40 arrows. Yeah. Which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. You I had a, a good time with real, it. Real game of a time. But yeah. after the games, it's time to get serious, Chris. You yeah. got to put this childish behavior aside, stop playing the games, and get down to what's really fucking happening here in Clocktown. Fucking missing kid. There's a child missing. There's actually not a child missing. There is a man missing. Somebody is missing to specific people, while other people definitely know where he is, but they don't want to say anything. Uh, yeah. There's something going on. It's weird as fuck. So let's let's back that up a bit. Yeah. So you put on Cafe's mask, 
And this is really the first time that you've gotten a lot of alternate dialogue yes. by wearing a mask. There has been a couple of occasions where if you put a mask on, you get some alternate dialogue, mostly between being a Deku or being a human. Also, with the Rosa sisters, there's the instance where you can put on Kamara's mask and have the alternate uh, interaction with them. Those aside, though, the other masks really don't do much. Like, the Great Fairy Mask doesn't change your dialogue with people. Cafe's mask changes almost everyone's conversation in clock town yeah i think it's everyone who actually is a resident like a clock permanent town. member yeah. yeah so like, like the the circus or the performance troupe don't really have uh, any opinions but like the the mayor and madame aroma obviously they're cafe's parents so they they have different you know conversations uh members of the stockpot in uh the contracting group that's building the uh platforms and everything for the carnival just random other shop owners Everyone has a little bit of alternate dialogue about this whole mess that Chris has just not known was happening for the past six episodes at this point or something. <laughs> Have you seen Cafe? That's not Cafe's mask that you're wearing. That's fine. Have you seen Cafe? I saw him somewhere. It was somewhere around here. Sorry, I- I'm busy. This looks like the um, hair of the fox mask kid. Oh? Yeah. Interesting. Ka-ching. There's so many mailboxes in this town. I know, and I haven't gotten any mail yet. But there was that um, purple-haired kid who deposits mail. What are you doing up here? I used to see him by the laundry pool sometimes. Hey, who is he? What did he do? Ah. So, okay. All right. It caught me by surprise. I didn't expect when I saw who I assume is Cafe. I don't even still know. But there's a mysterious kid in a fox mask who has the same hair, at least. Yeah, so let's let's back that up a little bit. So yep. you've seen this kid with a fox mask a couple of times now. Yeah. Tried interacting with him at the laundry pool, tried grabbing him at the post box. From what you know, there's a small child with medium length purple hair and a fox mask who runs from the door in the laundry pool to the post office and back. And that's about all you know. <laughs> yeah, that's everything. That's it. Yeah. So... Today, though, you have a mask where you see a face. This mask prompts people to tell you a little bit about Cafe. Yeah. And the first thing that you find out, which is, I think, bonkers for you, yeah, is that Cafe is actually the Stockpot Inn owner's fiancé. Have you seen Cafe? Oh, how many people are you going to ask me that? That lady is so persistent. So, doesn't Cafe want to break off his engagement to Anji? Uh, Why not let him? That's what he wants. What? Some people. Oh, no. How is this for you? Bad. I love Anju. No good when your fiancé goes missing. Yeah. And their wedding is coming up. So, the mayor and um, Aroma are mm-hmm. missing their child. This child is the fiancé to Anju, the stockpot owner. Yeah. Stockpot in owner, I should say. And as you go around town, you discover that there's people who, A, are just not happy with Cafe for, I presume, just disappearing on Anji. Yeah, so one of uh, one of Muto's men, the gentleman who's screaming at the Indiegogo poster for seemingly no reason, he really takes offense to Cafe. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, hey, if you come in here... You know, wearing that mask. Don't you dare go looking for him. Don't find him. Leave my darling Anju alone. Seems like there's some drama there. Thanks so much for listening to the First Encounter podcast. If you want the journey to continue, please support us at patreon.com slash first encounter. Find our socials and contact info at firstencounterpodcast.com. Please stop by and say hey. Our intro and outro music is by Alden Zach. Dick gun blazing. <laughs> dick gun blood just blasting dicks left and right. Can we make a dildo gun? Yeah. Just shoots dildos. Yeah. I feel like dildos are really expensive though. Speaking of dildo guns. Alright, talk to me. Excellent.